Welcome to the Dietitian Side Hustle Podcast. My name is Katie Dodd and I'm a nutrition entrepreneur. I spent seven years as a side hustler before diving into entrepreneurship full time. Before making the leap, I was bringing in six figures through my side hustle. If I can do it, you can too. This podcast is for dietitians, interns, and students who want to be inspired to start or perfect the side hustle of their dreams. Let's do this. Hello and welcome to the 178th episode of the Dietitian Side Hustle Podcast. I want you to fail. How is that for a podcast episode title? And I guess really before I go a lot further, how does that make you feel? The fact that I want you to fail. My hope is in today's episode, I reframe what failure looks like to you and that you get on the same track as me and be like, heck yes, failure, I am here for it. So I am recording this episode directly after episode 177, where I was kind of getting my bearings of I haven't talked to you guys for like a month because life's been crazy. And uh, mostly I shared an update, but then I did talk very briefly about ups and downs. And if you haven't listened to the episode, you can go back and listen to it. But a quick recap, I talked about how life is full of ups and downs. And we think that when the downs happen, everything is going wrong. We're failing. It's not. It was actually when I was recording the episode, I'm like, whoo, I want to start talking about failure. I'm like, no, this is a great next episode. So let's talk a little bit about failure. Okay. So I, I think again, the first thing we have to do is address what are our feelings about failure. So many of us, especially type A dietitians, feel like failure is not an option. We feel like anything less than an A in school is an F, right? It's just, we look at failure as something that is so bad that it prevents us from getting started. You know, if you never do the thing, you're never going to fail. That's the truth. But I want to talk to you guys a little bit more about, um, about this. And I think one of the things that kind of changed my thought process on failure was actually last year on a webinar that I was on through my business coach, Greg Todd. And he had a guest on named Gary Brackett. Gary is a former NFL um, Super Bowl champion. And now he's a really cool entrepreneur. Um, It's Gary Brackett. I love his content on social media, very inspirational, very motivational. But when he was on this um, webinar, he said something that made my jaw drop to the ground. And I'm always listening to podcasts. I'm always reading books. I'm always like, level up my mindset, all the things. So it's not that often that something just completely like rocks my world like this. And what he said was build failure into your business plan. Build failure into your business plan. And my jaw dropped. And I thought about even my relationship with failure was like, well, I'm building a business plan that's going to avoid failure. I'm building a business where I'm going to succeed. And this idea of building failure into your business plan just seemed crazy to me. But then when I stopped and thought about it, I'm like, he's so right. Because the truth of the matter is, everyone is going to fail. I fail. My coach fails. His coaches fail. Everyone fails. It is part of the journey. The thing that differentiates people who have success versus those who don't is that when you fail, you don't give up. So many people, when failure happens, they throw up, throw up their hands, throw in the towel. They're like, I knew it. I'm done. But the people who keep going, oh man. <laughs> I, um, I'm actually doing 75 hard right now. That's probably another podcast episode to share about why I'm on this journey. But I'm reading a book by Andy Frisella who created 75 hard. And um, he had a quote in there that I really liked. Um, And it was based around the concept of keep going. I recorded a podcast episode called Keep Going. And if you listen to that episode, you might know that um, every day when I write in my get time planner that I use, I write a message to myself. And sometimes when I can't think of anything, I write keep going, keep going. And so when he said this, I'm like, yes, this is good. So what he said was, if you keep going, it's possible. If you keep going long enough, it's probable. So thinking of what you're doing in entrepreneurship and your side hustle, if you keep going, yeah, there's a good possibility you're going to reach your goals. But if you keep going long enough, it is probable that you're going to achieve the thing because you're not going to give up. So that's the thing is when failure happens, we just don't give up, right? So what I want to present to you guys is this idea that there's two sides to failure. And the question is, are you only seeing one side? And a lot of us only see one side. It is the bad side. So the bad side of failure, there's lots of pieces to it. Part of it is that self-fulfilling prophecy, that fixed mindset of when you fail, it's like, okay, I knew I wasn't going to be able to do this. See, I knew I was right. I knew I was going to fail. And here we are, a big failure. Things will never change. This is just the way it is. 
and it perpetuates a really negative mindset, right? Failure also could look like embarrassment, like you set out to do something amazing and you failed and now people around you know that you are a failure. It could also create a lot of self-doubt, especially if you don't have a lot of confidence. You're like, oh my gosh, like who do I think I am? It can lead to giving up, throw in the towel. I gave it a try, but this didn't work. But it could also keep you stuck. Because a lot of you are too scared to even get started because you're terrified of failure. You feel like I need to get more experience. I need to get more credentials. I need to take more courses. I need to do more things before I could even get started because I don't want to fail when I go out there and do the thing. So you just don't start. And again, if you never start, of course you're never going to fail. But that means you're never going to reach your big goals, the big goals and dreams that you have for your life. That leads to hope deferred. And we know that hope deferred makes the heart grow sick. And essentially that creates to you not living the life that you were intended to live. So failure, it's a thief. Failure steals so much from us because we're scared of it. We're scared of it. And it's not even the failure itself. It's our thoughts about failure. It's our thoughts about what will happen if we fail and what that's going to look like and what that says about us. But what I want to do is I want to present another side of failure. And this is the good side of failure. And this is why I want each and every one of you to fail. Good side of failure. It means you started. You did what so many people have never done. So many people sit on their dreams. They sit on their goals and they never start. Years pass and they look back and say, man, I wish I would have. But if you failed, it means you started. And if you started, woo, that is like 1,000 points in my book. It means you tried. It also leads to bravery because despite all of those doubts in your head, despite all of those external things in the world that tell us who do we think we are, you did it anyways. That's brave. And with that comes confidence. You become more confident of, you know what? I did fail, but the world didn't end. And quite frankly, I'm not going to give up. And that means next time I do it, it's going to get better and better. Now, this also leads to having a growth mindset. And this is the opposite of a fixed mindset where we think things are the way they are and they'll never change. But understanding that you can do anything. Failure is also an incredible teacher. Failure provides invaluable lessons. Now, I'm not going to sugarcoat this. I don't like failure. I I don't like it in the moment. It's like some things like, I I don't want to get in the weeds here, but like running. I sometimes am a runner. I don't like running. Time goes very slow when I run, but I like after I run. I like when I run too, because I like the battle of my brain where my brain's saying, you have to stop. You can't do this. This is too hard. Time's going too slow. And when my brain's being negative, I like running anyways to say, take that brain. I'm doing it anyways. And then when I'm done, I feel so accomplished. So for me, failure is kind of like running, like (laughs) sometimes like it, but I also understand there's a lot of benefits on the other side of it for me. So, so I, I, I can't say like, I love failure. I mean, I don't think anyone does, but I I love the lessons that failure provides because as much as I would like things to be all amazing all the time and go right the first time, I learned so much more from failing than I do from everything going right. Invaluable lessons. Failure is an amazing teacher. And because failure is such a great teacher, it tells you, here's what worked, here's what didn't work, here's how we could pivot. But it means more success the next time you do it. You're going to get better and better and better. And if you continue doing the thing, you continue getting better, you are going to reach your goals, you are going to live out your dream life and do all the things that you want to do. So I hope this makes sense, guys. And I hope this makes sense on why I'm telling you, I want you to fail. I want you to fail because if you fail, it means you started. If you fail, it means you tried. If you failed, it means that you are brave. You are growing your confidence. You are growing your mindset. You are learning invaluable lessons and you're going to continue to get better and reach those big dreams that you have. So here's the deal, guys. I don't want you to fear failure. I want you to plan for it. Like Gary Brackett said, I actually got to meet Gary at um, last June at Smart Success Healthcare Live. And I got to sit down with him and we, um, it was kind of like a, I don't even know what you call it. It was like a VIP room. And um, I got to eat breakfast with him. And he's a real cool guy. And so think of Gary Brackett. Build failure into your business plan. So plan for it. Plan that you are going to fail. Probably many times. Expect it. Then celebrate it. When you fail, I want you to, instead of being like, oh my gosh, I failed. I want you to think of this podcast right here. And I want you to think, Katie told me to plan for failure, to expect it. 
failure's here. I'm going to celebrate this because I did it. I failed. And I know that Katie's cheering me on. This is a moment to celebrate because this is part of the journey. This is part of the entrepreneurial journey. But then don't just have a party. That's great. You failed. You started. You did the thing. Learn from it. Learn from it because failure is a great teacher and then succeed from it because you're going to keep going and you're not going to quit. So that was my message for today. I want each and every one of you to go out there and pursue those big dreams that you have. If you've been feeling stuck, there's no better time to start than now, especially the time of this episode going live. It's almost 2024, you guys. (laughs) So, you know, I I know that 2024 New Year's is just a date, but why not use it as a date that's going to motivate you and move you forward in all the plans and all the things that you have. So, Thanks so much for listening to the podcast, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. And one thing I don't say a lot, actually, let me say this. I I don't often say this, but if you could subscribe and give a review to this podcast, that super helps me. I was actually just in Apple Podcasts and I saw Sarah A. gave the nicest review. So Sarah, if you're listening, thank you. She left this review on August 11th. She said, um, Katie shares advice for starting a side hustle and brings on knowledgeable guests. She shares very inspiring words that make me feel energized to get started on my side hustle. It feels like a one-on-one business coach session listening to Katie. So Sarah A, thank you so much for those kind words. I I appreciate you guys all so much. And if you guys have the time, go give me a review, share this podcast with your friends. My goal is that I just want to help more people, more dietitians, more RDs to be more healthcare professionals, because I know some of you listening aren't dietitians and that's okay. Everything I'm sharing, you could swap out dietitian with whatever your role is. So thank you guys so much. And if you want to learn more about all the ways we could work together, head on over to katiedodd.com. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.